r slash today I fricked up. Dajub 66 says. Today I fricked up be getting hard during prep for a vasectomy. This happened yesterday, but it's exactly what the title says. A beautiful woman, roughly my age, 26, did the prep work. She had an amazing body, very attractive face and of course I was the lucky one to get her. She told me to undress then came back in the room, before I was covered, and she wasn't phased, not like it expect her to be. As you can imagine she was very hands on with everything, didn't know how much penis touching there would be. I thought it would be all about the boys downstairs. She started and besides for the shaving it felt like a massage and that's when it happened. I was laying at a weird angle, so I couldn't see her, her hands, her body, her face, nothing. I didn't apologize for the sake of making it more awkward I just kept my silence. Was in the back room of the office so as I was taking the very long walk out I feel like all the nurses were staring at me like they knew. I imagine this happens all the time, but I'm not 100% sure. Too long, didn't read, got hard during vasectomy prep, extremely awkward went to what felt like all eyes on me from other nurses in the office edit, since this keeps coming up, I shaved myself the day before, she just did it again. Distii says. You very well may not have been the first guy to do that to her that day. Penises tend to respond to stimulation by going erect, that's what they're supposed to do. Unless she's super immature, in which case maybe shouldn't be a nurse, she didn't think anything of it at all and neither did anyone else. Jingas Nightmares says. You are correct, but I've met many a nurse and they are often super immature. Drunk Green Russian says. I work with many nurses, and the key is super immature in private. Also frankly when I got my vasectomy everything shrunk in fear, so this guy should count himself moderately lucky. Maddie Puddle says. I used to work in an office assisting with vasectomies. No worries. It happens all the time. Dadjerb66 says. Thank you, I was fairly certain that was the case, just felt like all eyes were on me when leaving. Like she took off during the actual procedure, and told all the nurses haha. Survey Monkey says. Maybe they were talking you up. Damn thing was huge, I had to throw it over my shoulder to shave the balls. Bulldogs82 says. I had an early appointment for my vasectomy. I don't remember the prep, but the doc said, you're the first one today, so you get the clean instruments. Not so funny, when he had my junk in one hand and sharp things in the other. Dadjerb66 says. Ha 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 not bad. Bipedal underscore warlock says. Power move lol. I like your doctor. Pokinogen says. This happens to almost every guy, don't worry. It's even discussed during their training. JNM 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 says. When we usually hear this happens to almost every guy, don't worry well, we worry. Pokinogen says. I understand. That's why I added, that they are literally trained to know how to handle this. False underscore risk 296 says. I'm sure the nursing staff is used to it. They know that it was out of your control. You didn't fool at all. Cuspidix says. He who owns it, shaves it best literal instructions to me, when I got slipped. Dadjerb66 says. I trimmed and shaved the night before, she just went over it again. Sexatalk128 says. She's probably seen more cocks than Davy Crockett's rifle. Ratomithalanges says. Jesus, how many times did he stick his dick in it? Expert Angle 8214 says. Happened to me when I got done, but soon disappeared when the nurse threw ice cold water on my balls it's was, frick, I'm freezing. Thermite says. Apparently they have evolved their own tools to deal with this lol. Flegai underscore 2000 says. Wonder if I can just schedule a prep and not do the actual vasectomy.
r slash today I fricked up. I don't wanna get to heaven says. Today I fricked up waking up and thinking it was Friday morning. This just happened. I'm kind of freaking out. I fell asleep after eating dinner around 2 p.m. and woke up about two hours ago legitimately believing that it was Friday morning. I woke up with a massive migraine. Mine are chronic often rather debilitating, and my right eye is still uncontrollably watering so much that it looks like I'm crying. My roommate was playing some really loud music with her door wide open. Me, wholeheartedly believing it to be nearly 7am I'm like girl, thanks for waking me up at all this lovely morning, but could you please turn that down or put some earbuds in? She wants to know why, so I explain how I have a migraine yada yada yada. She turns it down, but even with both our doors closed, it's still loud af. I ask if she's willing to use her earbuds, and she says she can't, because she needs to listen to music at 7, while she's getting ready. In my mind, I had no doubt that it was Friday morning, so this only subconsciously cemented the belief further. I cave and just say I'll put my earbuds in instead, and we go our separate ways. Being the responsible college freshman that I am, I remember that I need to take my my meds, and decide whether or not I'm capable of going to today's class. I won't go into extreme detail, but I take a pretty sizable dose of ad stimulants and antidepressants for someone my, admittedly petite, size. While they kick in. I decide to be proactive and notify my professor that I might not be in the best position to attend class today. Suddenly, to my genuine confusion, I see the PM next to the time that the email was sent. Too long, didn't read, today I fricked up be thinking it was Friday morning and took my meds for. Twahead Wolf says. This morning was Friday morning. Investment he says. This comment, frick, ed me up fr I need to take my meds. Johnson Machine says. When I was a wee boy I took a nap on a Sunday, woke up at 6pm and thought it was Monday morning. Got dressed for school backpack and all. My parents were so confused haha. Alizano28 says. Dude one time it happened to my mom. She woke me up for school at 7pm and in my half asleep state I showered and got dressed. She made me breakfast and prepared my lunch box when we noticed the sun hadn't come up while I was eating as it usually did mine o'clock got messed up and was the first time I stayed awake all night. Amina14 says. I did this once. I had a temp job assembling water filters. Started at 6am. Ended at like 2.30pm. I passed out shortly after getting home, woke up at 5.45. Panicked, flew out the door, started driving to work thinking I'd slept the night. It was at that weird point of the year, where it's dark for both those times. Made it almost all the way, to work before I was like. Traffic sure is bustling compared to yester. Ah oh, damn it. Went home, made some food, told my mom. It was pretty funny. Do zero tz says. Today I fricked up jetting day drunk in college. Garrick Lauren face says. You should probably still send that email because you're going to crash once your meds wear off. Maybe empty some free study time for now. Matt's 8409 says. I was in a meeting with Maiku this morning and they asked how my day was. I said well it's hump day so it's pretty good. She had a look of horror on her face, and I was confused, until I realized it was actually Thursday. I terrified her, and made myself extremely excited to be closer to the weekend than I thought. The early parts of my week were chaotic and totally messed me up. Valentine M. Smith says. I think you're turning Japanese, I think you're turning Japanese. Acrobatics or 3 says. It is Friday morning. Depending on where you live. It's Nightingale says. It's Friday afternoon where I live. Mr. Dog 69 says. I just woke up and it is Friday morning where I live. Wajo says. 
I did this recently. I went to bed around 8.30 pm, and woke up a little less than 2 hours later, and thought I slept through my alarm. I frantically did my routine, and left the house for work, did my 30 mile commute, only to be really confused about how different the parking lot looked at 11.30 vs 5 am. After I finally noticed what time it was, JFC, I said frick, it and went to work. R slash today I fricked up. Distinct journalist 29 says. Today I fricked up be drinking too much and going to the hospital. I'm mostly posting this BC I want someone to tell me it's not that embarrassing so it's the Friday night of hello weekend and I decide to go out w one of my friends. Before I left I had 3 shots. We went to a frat, and I had a total of 6 beers, and then one of those 99 proof shooters. I was really drunk, and I remember walking home with my friend, and then nothing after that. According to my other friends I was like fine for 2 hours, after I got home J kinda silly goofy drunk. Then I started barfing, and it was kinda J normal drunk person barfing, but then I started to get really pale and my hands turned purple I was really unresponsive, and I was having a really hard time breathing. All I remember, is my roommate kept trying to get me to drink water through a straw and ILT was so hard to swallow I like cold and use my muscles. I would like put my head down on my arm and they would say my name and I wouldn't respond. They decided to call 9, double 1 BC they were worried I was gonna die. I was like really out of it, I cold and talk or like move right. I remember when I started to come to in the hospital I was so confused, and I had very little control over my muscles and I wanted to like say something or ask questions, but I was having trouble speaking it was really weird eventually we left the hospital at like 4.30 am. I feel so bad, that my friends had to deal w me. Too long, didn't read, was stupid and didn't pay attention to how much I drank, and buffed and went to the hospital. Drizzy says. Sounds like you have good, caring friends. Drink more water and less alcohol next time. Everyone's had their too drunk night, learn from it. Incognitolent Shark says. You made a mistake, your friends made sure you didn't pay with your life. It's embarrassing but it pales in comparison to the grief they potentially prevented. Tistic says. Your friends may well have saved your life. Some of those symptoms sound like they may have been from someone more serious than alcohol poisoning, and you should go back to the clinic sober this time and have them check you out. Purple hands and not being able to breathe are not from too much booze. Rubber Love says. People die from alcohol intoxication all the time. You have good friends. Candacitis says. Thank your friends for taking care of you. Then thank them again by not letting yourself get to that point again. That's scary. We all do stupid things, especially in college, and when frat parties are involved. Forgive yourself but seriously, please don't drink so much. Elemental work show PI says. Going from silly drunk to unresponsive drunk so fast is a huge red flag. You weren't spiked were you op? Is this unusual for you? I was spiked once, and I was so out of it, I didn't know where I was, passed out in the toilet, and pushed a bouncer who was trying to help me, because I didn't know what was happening. I cry hug apologized to her after, because I was, so upset that I had done that. She was very firm but empathetic. Luckily my friends were there, and explained I had been speaking to someone at the bar I didn't know, then went into the toilet. That's where they found me. Even if you weren't, and you just drank too much, please keep your wits about you, stay safe. That goes regardless of gender. Cigar underscore dude says. Bonus points to your friends, and doing the right thing, by calling 911. Yet, or wouldn't, be surprised at the amount of people who simply do not do this, as for the drinking. I don't have to tell you now, to be more mindful of your alcohol consumption. I don't know what you ate or did beforehand, but for future reference never drink on an empty stomach. 
be mindful of the activities you did beforehand. Do you work out? Drink something with electrolytes like Gatorade or those new Pedialyte type drinks at 711. From personal experience eat something with lots of bread, potatoes, or greasy. It used to help me before a night of drinking. Lastly, water. Drink lots of water in between shots or drinks. X drinker here coming up on two and a half years alcohol free. I do not and will not preach sobriety to anyone because of my own personal decision. If you wanna still drink then still drink, but I will try and help mitigate alcohol poisoning or off nights. Stay safe. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.